Okay, moving along in our news coverage, one other way to stay warm is to get out and dance. We have some excellent ways to do that here in Chester County. Uh, one of those ways is to join the Shag Club. We go now to the members of the Shag Club at Legends to get more information on their club and the state dance, the Shag. My name is Albert Cloud, and I'm with the Hilltop Shaggers, Chester Shag Club. Uh, we started our club in 2001, and we started with like 70, had 70 members when we uh, started our club up the first year, and we've been going up from there. We've uh, had as many as 125 to 130, around 130 members. Uh, couple of years and it's sort of balanced out to around a hundred plus. We try to try to keep a hundred plus members. If anybody's interested in shag lessons, line dance lessons, we can probably set up if we get a minimum number of people, we can probably set people up to to learn how to shag because of the, a lot of people don't know how to shag and that might be holding people back from coming out and enjoying themselves and having a good time. But we we can get a, a instructor in here and we'll we'll show them how to beginner, you know, the beginner shag, show them how to shag to start off and the line dancing part. I know a lot of people learn love the line dance, but uh, the shag line dance is a little bit different than the country and western version of line dance. We really got the shag world a different world from any other world you ever lived in. Wouldn't believe it. No, no problems. You don't ever have any trouble anywhere. We go. Uh, you never meet a stranger. We know people from all over the southeast and, and even up the northeast. The shag world has really took off in the last, uh, I'd say the last 10 years. They got uh, shag clubs from New Hampshire down to Daytona Beach on the east coast. Uh, out west. South Carolina is the capital of Shag. South Carolina's uh, official dance is the shag, uh, shag dance, and the official music is the Shag music. It's beach music. Uh, we'd love to have, we'd love to have more members. We're looking for members every day, and our new year's just starting. We got a, uh, we got a sign-up party the 23rd of January. If anybody wants to join our Shag club at that time, they come out. If they come out to, do, to Legends that Friday night around. 8 o'clock. We'll be glad to get them in the door and let them sign up and get them, get them in the Shag Club. We want more members. We love members. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Learn how to shag them. I enjoy the fellowship. I enjoy the part that everybody in here has a common goal. Everybody tries to get together and enjoy themselves. The shag dance to people who watch it the first time will think it's a very complicated dance. It's not. We don't plan to win any kind of contest. We're out here to have a good time. If you do that, you're going to enhance this dance. We're getting a little age on us. We need younger people like you, Pete. I like you be out here. There's nothing complicated about it. But it's not just about us having parties, getting together and all that. ACSC, like I say, there's something like 92 members. We have SOS, which is a Society of Stranders, three times a year at Ocean Drive Beach. It'd be 10,000 of people that, like I say, think like we do, act like we do. You're not going to see any trouble because we're we have one common goal and it's not just that we have parties we do this we try to get back to the community also I know in our particular club last year or in the past years we've given away scholarship to some of the people here in Chester Great Falls all the Chester County schools uh, this past year we uh, gave a donation to Terry Blackwell who does a and the Civitan that does a very very wonderful job feeding the disabled people and so forth at Thanksgiving. Worthy cause. Everything goes toward enhancing the shag dance and keeping it alive. You do that by presenting your members with the opportunity to dance. Right now we have 100 members. For a town like Chester, that's outstanding. These memberships in ACSC goes all the way to Pittsburgh. They have 600 members at Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that dance the shag dance. The shag dance is a, it's a simple dance, it's a rhythm dance, and it's a control dance. Basically that's what we do, and that's what we, we enjoy doing. 
Yeah. Very enjoyable. My favorite song, Jimbo Thomas Knows. After I come in here and we socialize a little bit, and once I tell him I'm ready to dance, he puts on one cup of coffee. It's an old Mills Brothers song, but it's by the men in distinction. Okay. It's a great song. I, I mean, the shag dance is a certain rhythm. I mean, you'll have uh, Dilbert McClinton playing shag music. Tom Jones plays a shag song. He don't know he does it. But we have uh, Bruce Springsteen. We dance to a certain song. It's a certain beat, a certain rhythm that you can enjoy yourself. I mean, we have one rule in this shag club if anybody joins us. If anybody asks you to dance, you cannot turn them down. <laughs> Just go out and have a good time. That's the whole thing. fun there with the shag club one other way to dance have fun and stay warm would be at club 321 for the past five years many businesses have come and gone in the chester community but club 321 has been a mainstay due to the hard work of its owners we're going to go hear from them now to hear about how they got the successful business started and how they keep it going okay well the basic idea is a social club to give people somewhere to go to have a, well, a good time you know have a few drinks and go home at the end of the night in peace you know like I said, the basic idea that we had was to come up with an idea uh, for a social club, you know, people our age, a little younger, to come, like I said, listen to some good music, have a few drinks, and go home in peace at the end of the day. The club, this is our second one. We've probably been in business now probably about eight years. Me and my, me and my partner, Maurice. Got into this business, a uh, colleague of mine, uh, George Feaster, he kind of talked me into doing it, saying that it probably something that it, it'd be good for, uh, per se, Chester or whatever, you know. Uh. The first one was successful, but we wanted to move more mainstream where people can, you know, walk in a gen general area where it ain't always got to be car traffic, be foot traffic, you know what I'm saying? And basically open to the public uh, every day, you know, got the bar side, the pool tables, and just, like I said, just a social atmosphere. Everyone is welcome. As long as you come and are respectful and, and, and good standards, you know, you're welcome. You know, like I said, we want to give Chester a positive look. We welcome everybody to come, you know. Uh, well, you was here last night, so you know, we got a little bit of everybody coming. Uh -huh. Okay, here, see the dance floor back behind me here at 321. Great time, Saturday night. So, you know, it's just, just more or less, you know, giving people something to do every day on an everyday basis, especially for us, uh, like uh, socializing, um, guys coming out here to shoot pool, um, 
basically that's about it. You know, and on the weekends, people just like to party, dance, have a good time. You know, we are doing something right because business is, is doing well. So it's I, you know you gonna have your negatives come in, you gonna have your positives come in. So I'm taking it that as a positive thing because the business is doing well right. We we thought this 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 thing of eight years ago, like I said, it started eight years ago. And it was, I think that's a good that's a good stretch. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good stretch. Pretty good stretch. You know, it wasn't always successful. You know, it was a long hard road. But you know, like I said, once again, we didn't had our skirmishes along the way, but your reward is at the end. We we're able to pay the rent, the the uh, light bills, and whatever you know. So that's pretty good. That's basically all you got to do. And in, in, in have faith, you know what I'm saying. If you foremost of all, if you, if, if you believe in God and some encouraging, encouraging words for for a first time business starter. If that's what you want to do, thank you out a good plan and go through with it. I am not no one for trying to start their own business. I, I look at it as a positive thing. You know, that's all that's all you basically can do. And and put your time and effort in. If you put your time and effort in, more than likely, you know, if if if, if God's giving, you know, you'll succeed in. You know, it's nothing like your own, but be dedicated to it and success in it it'll be able to work for you then. Every, anybody you you're very much welcome to come down. Um if uh, you want to become a member, uh, just uh, talk to me, a uh, colleague, or one of the guys that work here, whatever. And we'll get you an application, and we'll fill that out and go from there. Um, like I say, um, it's, it's, it's a good, wholesome atmosphere. People, really, All people really do want to do is just come down and have fun. Um, you know, just a small town, you know, <laughs> so it ain't, it's not really too much to do in Chester anyway, you know, so that's about it, you know. Uh, just hope that we can be here the, the, this year and the next year and the year after that.